Hello my friends, Mikey D here for another video. This is my second one in two days. I must be feeling better. Not completely, but yes, I oh look my I hate when the back of my or what they call the class shows. Sorry, let me just fix this. Anyway, yeah. Uh so it's my third or fourth day without cigarettes. So that's cool, I think. Um Lots of phlegm, more, more brown shit, uh, but it's uh, it's what's expected, and uh, I have no problem with it, because if that's how my body needs to clean itself, so be it. I don't want to go back to them, though. I've had it with them, so I've been drinking a lot of water. That helps thin out the mucus, and it's so refreshing. Anyway, uh... Quick video today on more Facebook asshole uh, fuckery, douchebaggery, if you will. Got a friend request today from a chick that I used to talk to. Long story short, she deleted me because our boyfriend was nagging her that he didn't like her talking to me. If you're in a relationship like this, I don't really want to know you. I'm going to start start like that. This is my second take on this video. I I didn't like how how my flow was like I'm a rapper. Yo, I didn't like how my you know, for real. I, my flow was, you know what I mean, for real. But anyway, my flow was whack. Anyway, um if if you're in a relationship where you can't have friends of the opposite sex, I don't want to know you. Um, but anyway, on with this story, she added me, and jokingly, I said, oh, does that mean that you finally woke up and realized maybe that I'm a good guy, and, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, busting balls. She says, uh, ha-ha, you know, the LOL, uh, thing. Uh, no, I just got rid of my boyfriend. I, I like that that word, the way it was uh, put. I got rid of my boyfriend. Oh. So, uh, anyway, uh, I mean, that, that makes me feel like it was a great relationship anyway. Now, now, keep in mind, I haven't been friends with this person on Facebook for at least two years. Heard nothing. I was told to drop her number, everything. I mean, retarded shit. I mean, we didn't even... Talk, talk. Like it, it wasn't even like like that, that. That that I don't understand why her boyfriend was so fucking up in arm. Apparently, he had issues with various guys talking to her because of his insecurity. Anyway, uh, and that's what it comes down to. But anyway, uh, she said it basically came down to say, uh, "Listen, I didn't friend request you uh, for any other reason, but we're friends, and that's it." So I pretty much laid into her about the fact that, listen, you know what? I wasn't good enough to be your friend when you had a boyfriend. And now you don't have a boyfriend and I'm not good enough to be more than a friend. Either way, you're an asshole. Basically, that's what it came down to. I was like, listen, you know what? If you don't have time for me when you have a boyfriend and you don't have time for me when you don't have a boyfriend, I don't have time for you in my life at all. I, I, I don't need fake ass people in my life. I, I, I don't need friends. I like to have friends. I enjoy having friends. Everyone likes to have a companion. But you know what? The word friend to me is dead. Like, true friends, very rare. I mean, you know what? It's, it's up there with gemstones, like sapphires, rubies, and these things. Like, friends are up in that area, like, very hard to come by. You know what I mean? So, uh... Yeah, if you're one of these asshole people in these relationships, I, I, whether you're a man or a woman, and your other, your significant other at the moment is uh, saying to you, uh, I don't want you to be friends with this one, this one, this one, this one. If they don't have any kind of trust in you, if they're constantly asking you, who's this, what's that, who's this, why'd they say that, what's that comment mean, this, that, and the other thing, 
you might want to reevaluate your whole relationship because there's a severe lack of trust involved there. And if there's that much of a lack of trust there, that's not really what a relationship should be about. Okay, me personally, I want a relationship. I want a real relationship. But I'm not going to do the fucking dance and then fucking show, show and prove again and again and again when people are judging me because of my beard or I'm fat or whatever. I don't give a fuck. You know what? Because if you know me, you know me. I've always been true to you. And if that's not enough for you to want to be with me, I don't want to be with you. Plain and simple. I, I don't care how good looking you are. I don't care how, how ugly you are. I don't care what your nationality is, your weight, your anything. I don't care. I don't want to fucking know you because you're judging me by more than, than what I am. Anyway, long story short, don't be a prick. Don't be an asshole and delete people when you have a relationship and then add them when you don't. That's a dickheaded move. It's not fucking necessary. It's fucking absurd. Seriously, just delete your Facebook if that's the kind of relationship you're in because it's just going to be a constant, nonstop uh, 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 problem in your relationship. It's, it's going to always be there. And, and, and you know what? People don't want to be your fucking yo-yo toy when, when you, you know, I, I'm available, I'm not available, I'm available, I'm not available. And meanwhile, you're fucking jerking us back and forth like we're fucking, you know. No, don't do that to Peter. You're a dick. All right? You're an asshole. Plain and simple. Don't do that shit. If you're friends with someone, you're friends with someone. If you're not friends with them, don't fucking be friends with them. But don't jerk people around. Fuck you. <laughs>